All right, everyone, Supreme Kami here. So before, you know, in terms of the Gunpla Fragment expire, I do want to quickly do a review on it over here. So in terms of what we have for this uh, two week period, in terms of, let's say the little bit of suit, we have the enhanced double seta, and then we have ourselves the wing zero unless we version. So in terms of like, all right, if I were you guys, like would I even pick, you know, use my 40 fragment for any of the one part for these two suit? Um, I would have to say if let's say you guys have the, uh, the newest version or the seven star version, and then you want to do some sort of like a link attribute, I would probably go for that route. If you guys trying to target a part, um, let's say for example, um, I don't know, maybe you guys have gotten you know the wing zeros a backpack for example and then you want to be able to access some you know alternative attributes uh you know more tech wise i'm um, trying to get that six percent you know power boosting by just having that link attribute i would definitely do that in terms of like try and get a specific part going on um so i'll definitely exchange for the backpack for the link attribute purposes but in terms of like all right are these two suit even good for example um kind of keep that in mind in terms of the wing gundam zero here um there's is no way uh, you guys know that we do have some sort of like a you know L badges selection right here. Uh, just kind of keep that in mind. In terms of them, we wing zero. Uh, it is actually not onto this roster because the wing zero alteration actually came out after this roster has been established. So, or even like I think it was like way after these pools are. So that's why you're not going to be able to exchange for it while you're looking at let's say the enhanced double seta you can actually still alter some part within this uh, you can actually get some l badges but um that leads me to another you know just another question for you guys it really depends on what kind of part you guys like at the end of the day just because both two are not really like peak performing by any means so uh it is purely going to be like all right do you guys like the suits for example or do you guys rather use your 40 of those like gunplay fragment for let's say some standard part for example so uh once we do get out out of that way uh, let's kind of talk about some other you know standard part that we're looking at uh in terms of pilot for example i am still not going to be recommending them just because of the fact that you guys can you know actually use your 40 fragment for example uh, which i have not used yet at all so you can definitely go up here uh let's say you want to target some newer pilot for example you can you guys can definitely do this for example in exchange for all your fragment onto a selectable part for your pilot i think that would definitely be a better selection for example um but yeah because it, like, let's be honest we do have build project pilot nowadays so i feel like if you guys do get the build project pilot for example i'm pretty sure you guys are getting a better mileage for, for that pilot than having these one um, over here um i mean these one over here are purely served as let, let's say for the cosmetic uh for the voice line whatsoever so this is like a personal choice in a way um so i can't really give like too much recommendation because like all these you know probably right here they are i'm just gonna say they're like the best like these you know they're they're not really that impressive style wise they're not like broken by any means so uh, this one could be good honestly in terms of the um patrick colosaro here he can he's actually pretty good honestly um giving that buff effect so I, he, he's actually something i would personally go for in a way but let's say if you go to sailor for example uh what is she even rocking yeah you, you wouldn't pick something of this caliber right so it, it, at the end of the day it's a personal preference um if you like the pilot for example go for it if you don't like this selection um use it like go over here and exchange for something do you like them so in terms of the standard part like the actual standard gunpla we have the shiny gundam now uh, it actually co coincide with uh this uh, month's uh, build project pilot or the build project um uh, suits so that's actually quite interesting and then we also have ourselves this like goku astray and then dual gundam assault shroud so in terms of these over here they obviously do have the alteration so let's kind of quickly make a detour and just kind of talk about if there are any good so let me actually start things off by shining gundam so we're gonna filter everything by ohm so shining gundam is actually quite a recent release in terms of a, a you know standard alteration um so i believe the bad part is actually yeah the bad part from the shining gundam is actually quite busted uh, because this one is giving a buff ex skill effects up by 30 percent so you know after alteration is this one worth the alteration is it worth max maxing up for example i would dare say this one is quite the part you be looking at just because that buff 30 percent is actually quite powerful uh but kind of keep that in mind this is only for a p attribute so it's not going to fit into your uh p or s or yeah your t or s attribute so this one is quite good honestly does have that premium war tech uh, mobile fighter and then 
close combat. So this one is actually quite good if you guys are planning to run Mobile Fighter for it, for, for, uh, for example, and happen to be running a P attribute. This one is definitely a, a quite the part to be looking at. And if we do take a look at the head part, I believe it's not anything new special. Yeah. This one is just one of those like kind of redeeming factor. I'm um, having like a modernized apart trait, which is good. But other than that, I would definitely say that there are better head part going on. Uh, I mean, you can definitely use this one for the peer stat and just the fact that, oh, this one had the premium war tag on um, mobile fighter. So could be the uh, option, honestly. I mean, like this one is not even too terrible. It's just that the first portrait is like, oh, projectile speed increase. Like, uh, okay, it's not that special, honestly. So I wouldn't like um, pray too much about that anyway. Um, I guess in terms of some of the more honorable mention in a way, not really on honorable mention, I feel like something you guys should definitely take a look into is actually the Shining uh, Finger Sword. This one is actually not bad at all. Like, look at that piercing value. Uh, most of the split, for example, in terms of custom EX cube, they tend to be deep piercing and then S power, for example. But this one is popping up to a B piercing. So you want to hit hard, for example, you want a cool animation. I feel like this one is definitely something that you can use, for example, in your melee build. Uh, this one does also raise your melee attack to your squad by 19%. Uh, it's quite low, honestly. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't really say that's acceptable for a custom. But I mean, like, if that's able to trigger those portrait buff EX good effects, I mean, it might as well go for that. So, not bad overall. So, let me do kind of take a look what is it prior to alteration. I I want to say, I don't recall. Oh, it actually does have that 50% already. Like, it, I thought initially, without the alteration, it does not have that attack buff. So, it looks like it does. So, that's actually good. So, that is definitely going to be allowing to hit extremely hard, for example. So, in terms of Shining Gundam, there's definitely a few good parts that you can be looking at. So, um, hopefully, you guys do have these parts in your collections already. You know, if I've been using the um, just selection bolt that we have for uh, these two periods. So, uh, up next, uh, let's kind of do go over what was the second one that we need to look at? Um, I re I know that we need to look at Duo Soul Strauss. So, let's kind of look at that one first. I forgot the other one already. Uh, what was the other one from? I'll, I'll, I'll go back to it. I'll go back to it. So let's kind of look at the dual assault straw first. Um, in terms of the dual gun, for example, the dual assault straw, um, there's honestly one that I feel like all of you guys should definitely get. It's uh, definitely going to be this one over here, the EXQ, the, the army is gone, honestly. This one is quite the powerful items or EX skill to be using let's say in arena specifically just because if you are able to let's say toggle uh, multiple and like you know switch back and forth to your enemy for example this one is going to allow you to split your um in terms of like the rounds for example you are going to be able to at least split you know two three enemy per time so that's going to allow you to clear your 3v3 a lot more faster so this one is highly recommended if you guys are planning to like let's say to this day you don't know what kind of good ex good to use for let's say the three and three and three arena uh this one is definitely going to be the top option for sure um i would have to say to be more effective you will want it to be maxed out honestly because uh, in terms of the mag magazine count you're looking only at seven um base level one is only four so this one truly does need it to be kind of maxed out uh you can definitely run this into like a 100 cooldown build but honestly, on a cooldown build, for for example, you're just not going to be able to do as much damage as you needed to, for example, unless you run some buffer. So, um, but uh, as always, this is definitely going to be a great EX skill for the 3-on-3 three three arena. Um, in terms of, let's say, some of the other part, I don't recall anything too special. This one's like a pierce boosting and then like a crit, so we're not going to look, in, not going to look at that at all. This one, uh, this one could be a good option, honestly. Uh, if you don't have any good bad part nowadays, uh, I, but like I, I would say nowadays, we definitely do have a lot, like just really, really good, even standard or not even standard. Let's say welfare selection that has some pretty good, you know, percentage and base part trait. So if you guys do have those already, um, this one is definitely a hot skip. Um, but you know, this one does pump out a 35% at max out. So it could be something you guys want to look at if you are lacking a good back part that has a good part trait. Um, in terms of head part, this one is a bad one to be looking at just because of the condition wants you to be, let's say, close shot attack raised by 30%. So like I said, again, in terms of how to actually gauge, like how how do you, how, how do I even know if I'm in, even in close range? So um, in terms of like the actual game itself, 
they gave you like the range of like, all right, are you in like a good distance to do maximum damage for whatever whatever job license you're looking at. So I believe if you're like a mid middle shooter or long shooter, there's actually like a gap distance. So this one is honestly not even that good of a part trade just because this one is, you know, do a social route. More or less is supposedly like a, you know, shooting based unit. So having like a close shot attack means uh, you have to be like really close proximity to even fit into that description. So this one is like honestly not even that good. So, all right. So the last one that we need to review is actually going to be the Sengoku Astray here. So in terms of the Sengoku Astray, I believe this one is quite a recent in terms of like these, you know, like how much are we up to in terms of alteration. Um, so let's kind of take a look. So I believe some of the portrait are actually quite new as well. Um, I believe I saw that we do have a cut trait on here as well. So let's see. So in terms of this one, is it anything worth mentioning? Uh, this one is probably not even there at all. So this one does give you like those uh, pierce boosting. So they could be good in like a specific kind of like a challenge event, for example. But in terms of let's say general content wise, uh, this one is definitely not that great. So we can definitely move on from here. All right, so in terms of the torso, is it anything worth mentioning? Yeah. So in terms of the torso, I feel like, you know, if you guys are still planning to make like a good um, standard part specifically, um, you know, CD part, this one can definitely help you guys for sure. Uh, this one does want you to be using it uh, in Photoshop, in Photoshop, so that should be easy to fulfill. And then in terms of the second condition, does not want you to be using a physical attack, so that should be easy to fulfill as well anyway. So uh, with that fulfilled, it, you can get a EX skill or this is melee power boosted by 35%, so that's actually quite good. Um, in terms of the arm-wise over here, we do have a hidden arm, so this one, uh, this is uh, pretty simple, st uh, straightforward slash, so it should up to alteration definitely should hit a lot more harder so it does also come with a little bit of effect as well so not bad or wrong so i believe that likewise actually does have a cut uh, mechanics so yeah uh in terms of both this condition they are going to be um when you are running module category melee weapon equips so that could be a little bit challenging in terms of having that specifically just because i feel like there's are there there's just a lot of other specific portrait that has like a melee weapon ties into it so we, you know, depending what kind of build you're looking at, this one may not be able to, you know, satisfy the condition. But, you know, honestly, this one is not too terrible because this one is like a mixture of like the EX skill piece boosting and then the melee boosting. Uh, so it could definitely be a great combo depending on what kind of situation you guys are looking at. But purely in terms of like, let's say those challenge event, they will definitely be the most effective in a way. And then in terms of, let's say, general content, let's say PVE, like those are re regular event, for example, I don't really, I, I don't really think Pierce boosting matter all that much, but um, this is, this could, this right here could definitely be something that you guys want to look at for sure. All right, so moving over on to the backpack. So backpack wise over here, yeah, this one is definitely a, a big, big formula. Look at this one. So this one is supposedly like, you know, a melee EXQ, look at that, uh, physical melee, but in terms of the actual buffing, they went ahead and buffed shot attack instead. So yeah, this one is definitely a hot skip for sure. Um, you guys have, might as well just wait for the build project version a bit to actually use this EXQ, because like this one is just weird. Like I, I don't know, like, I, I can't really accept the fact that this one is specifically boosting shot attack and not actually melee attack. So definitely a very hard formal right there. So uh, last but not least, we do have the shield. So in terms of our portrait, uh, not anything too worth mentioning, I guess, uh, except for the fact that, uh, yeah, no, this one definitely nothing to worth mentioning about because this one is an enemy strong melee attack with you. So uh, yeah. So with that being said, you know, that's going to be pretty much it in terms of, you know, the number 92 Gunpla Fragment. So there's honestly, in terms of the standard selection, they're just, you know, um, not really that great, I would have to say. Uh, it's just some, like, it's just not every part is good. So if you guys do have, you know, I, hopefully you guys do have these collection already. So you guys can just use your uh, 40 Fragment and just kind of use them. Well, let's say some newer center part instead of this one over here but um but other than that that is going to be pretty much it in terms of the 92 uh, fragment here uh, the number 92 gumbler fragment and then i'll catch you guys all on the next one